What's going on guys, MetaSquid here. And today, um, I'm bringing you a little bit of a, it's kind of like a review video. But, um, so, pretty much if you've been to the Divine Beast bot I ruined in, Zelda, in the new Zelda Breath of the Wild with the Nintendo Switch like I have, um, and if you're anything like me, um, well first of all you're going to notice that the temple is kind of confusing. Um, there is one guide out that I saw, um, that actually did a very good job of explaining it. Um, however, the boss battle that I saw him do, um, I mean, I don't mean to be mean to call somebody out here, but honestly, I think he did it all wrong. I think there's a much better way to defeat Water Blight Ganon, who is the final boss of the Divine Beast Va'arun Temp Dungeon, or whatever we're calling it. Um... I did my best to cut out any of the plot, but you do get the awesome intro, which if you've been to the Temple of Va'arun, or not Temple, but Divine Beast Va'arun, and you've gotten to the final boss, Water Blagan, and you're having a hard time defeating him, um, you're going to get this anyway, or you have already seen it. So I decided that this first opening bit wasn't really, you know, let's say canon. Um, I do highly, highly, highly recommend, if you want to do my strategy, um, the the electric arrows are the best bet. Um, I was using a guardian sword in the first hat part, um, just because that was that was one of the weapons that I would be okay bringing into this battle. But basically, all you're gonna do is this first part is gonna be the hardest part for if you battle him my way. Um, you'll see here. I do. I think I get hit twice with his spear, and his spear does a lot of damage. And by um, you could technically go into this with four hearts. I had five at the time. Um, but yeah, you can see he takes out three and three quarter hearts with that one hit. Um, I was getting a little cocky when I was first recording this. Um, so I'm just going to eat my ingredients because I was just, I wanted to get it over with quick. Um, I did battle him about four or five times to try and find the best way to beat him because I was recording and I kind of wanted to make it out to a video. But if somebody already had a good video about something, why would I why would I basically copy something? I mean, there's there like I said there's one other guy on YouTube. He is it's a good copy or it's not a good copy. It's a good video on how to get through the dungeon and I'm sure that more people are going to be putting out more videos on the best way to get through the dungeon. However, nobody has done it on YouTube, at least I've seen the way that I decide to beat the boss. So basically, aim for the eyes. I have a pro controller. Um, <clears throat> so the motion controls would help, and um, like just any. If you're using the bow anyway, you should be using the motion controls, honestly. So this second part is going to be the easiest part. He will not even ever land a hit on you if you do this correctly because basically all you're going to do is you're going to aim the bow at his eye and then he gets knocked out. Then you just slash at him with your sword. However, I do I do recommend using a spear. I really do recommend using a spear on this part because it has a longer reach and to be if you're using a guardian sword like I was, most of your spears do the most damage, the same amount of damage anyway. Um, you can see right here I'm going to switch to a spear <coughs> as soon as Link um, decides to, you know, climb up that ledge. And, I mean, like, and you saw earlier, like, he threw up an ice block, but he couldn't even hit me with it. Um, see, like, right there, he didn't even get his attack off just because he leaves his eye wide open for a hit. In this second part of the battle, he doesn't even defend his eye at all. So, I mean, even though you only have, you know, the four little spaces and you gotta swim, it shouldn't be hard at all. I mean, like you guys said, I only got hit. I think I got hit twice, but I only saw once. I was talking in the middle of it. But, yeah, that's Water Blight Ganon. I mean, he really shouldn't give you any trouble at all. That'll be the video, guys. Oh. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you want to. Thanks.